Yesterday, we had a bit of a problem. I'm actually... Good play. Good Just about to climb a tree. So Sir, it's a pleasure to meet you. My well, phone network actually thinks we're in Bangladesh. As you can hear, the Muslim prayer, Bangladesh. Pretty sure that we've just got lost in the cleanest village in Asia. Yesterday, we had a bit of a problem. We were supposed to be going down to Dalki. There was heavy rain in the morning. Uh, unfortunately, there was a landslide. I'm not sure if anyone got hurt. I hope not. And they closed the road. So, we shifted our days back. We are still going down to Dalki. We just stopped on the way to get some chai tea. The further we get out, the more beautiful it gets. Obviously, the more rural, you've got more of the rolling fields. This place is incredible. I'm actually, I'm not even going to say anything. This view says it all. Absolutely blown away. This is supposed to be Asia's cleanest village. A few shops up at the top. It was a hundred rupees to get in. Let's go and see what makes this the cleanest village in Asia. I mean, Asia's a big place. Now, I've asked you one bit of rubbish, I'm getting my money back. <laughs> and we're just literally 40 meters down the road from the entrance. And you can see that this is a very clean place. So many different greens. That I've literally seen a thousand plants since we've, we've, we've reached the top of the road. So tropical, completely different feel from Shillong. I mean, we're right in the thick of it here. Very jungly. Hello. Absolutely beautiful, lovely, calm vibes. Drop me a water, better pick that up. The energy here is very calming, very chilled, very relaxed. You hear the water flowing, there's a few rivers running through it. It's pretty beautiful to be honest. When people explained Meghalaya to me, this is exactly what I expected. Clean, pure jungle. And it's hot. I'm just about to climb a tree. Uh, it's a bamboo helter skelter, yeah. <laughs> it does say eight persons allowed on there at one time. I'm eight a bit Cassie persons. Yeah, eight Cassie, so that means one and a half of me. <laughs> so I'll make sure it's all clear before I start climbing. But it looks high, it looks wobbly. But I'll bet we can get some nice shots up there, so we're going to go up there now. First level, not too bad. We're about four meters up. It's swaying a bit too much for my liking. Oh, second bit. You coming down? Oh. 
What in the... Don't even look that steep. Not too sure about this. I'm scared of heights, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. Ooh. Oh, cha. Here we go, look at this. How beautiful is this? Well, my legs are shaking. <laughs> At least would be proud of me for that. Scared of heights, 80 meters up in the air. Up there. Kubli. Kubli. <laughs> Come north be long. Klein. <laughs> Klein. Beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Where do you come from? From London, England. Oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. From across the sea you came. From across the sea, all the way to this place. Okay, sir, it's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. And unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being so friendly and welcoming us. Okay. okay. Good bless. Good bless. Good bless you, Have a nice day. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> it's really cool, they've got these little bins that are located all over the village for people to put their trash in. It's not just because it's clean, it's the foliage, it's like, I don't even know how many different types of plants and trees and God knows what there are. All the different kinds of shades of yellows and greens and reds. Cool play. Hello. Hello. Pretty sure that we've just got lost in the cleanest village in Asia. I don't know where I am. And Google is not being our friend. I'm so glad I come to this place. We've been in the car for about two and a half hours from Shillong down to Dalki. And uh, it was nice to get out of the car, stretch our legs, and especially in this place. So I've gone for a little walk to stretch the legs, but I should turn back really. Probably end up in Bangladesh. Absolutely stunning. Probably the most peaceful place I've ever been in. All you hear is the, the wildlife and the gentle flow of the water and the stream going through the village. Cockerel every now and again. Absolutely stunning. Definitely recommend this place. If you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. This will be a, uh, over a month in, uh, in uh, the northeast and the journey's just begun. So we're going to be going down to Meghalaya, across to Assam, up to Sikkim, down to Varanasi and then finishing off in Delhi. So it's going to be an amazing adventure. Please come along, subscribe, please like and share with your friends as well. That really help us out. Thank you very much. So as you can hear, the Muslim prayer, we're literally, this is the border. So beyond this mesh here, Bangladesh. That is Bangladesh there. I could throw a stone. Bangladesh. The place where we're going now, Dalki, is right on the border. The river acts as the border of Bangladesh and India. Obviously predominantly Muslim in Bangladesh. Okay, onward. My phone network actually thinks we're in Bangladesh. <laughs>